right, folks, we're up uh, before daylight, <clears throat> as most days. Headed down to Palm Bay. We're going to put a TN style spin along for a company down there called us yesterday evening. Uh, I'll bring you along for the ride and show you a little bit what our day's about. All right, folks, we're out here to do a trailer spindle. <laughs> this is a logging trailer here. I want to show some wear on the spindle itself. A lot of people ask, um, you know, well, if the bearings aren't burned up, why would it need to be replaced? Well, over time, your bearing journals will develop wear on them. So I'm going to point this out to you, and then in a later video, we'll do some measurements on it, and I'll show you. So right here on your outer bearing journal, you can see the wear on the top side. And then on the bottom side, I hope you can see that there's a groove there. Same with the rear bearing journal. And then obviously the threads are in poor shape as well. So we're gonna replace this today. And then in a further video, I'm gonna save this axle stub to show you uh, how our measurement tools work and then um, how to use a micrometer to measure one as well. All right, we've taken some basic measurements. Spindle, new spindle, compared to the old spindle. Um, we're gonna come in here. We're gonna cut this one off right at three inches, which is gonna be the center of this uh, weld right here. And then I'll bring you back after that's done. All right, cut our axle off, made our inside measurement. We're gonna come over here to the lathe on the back of the service truck. Uh, we took a measurement of the bushing and now we're gonna start cutting the diameter down so this will be a slip fit into the trailer axle. These two pieces right here will be put inside of the axle, the bushing here and then the stub will be screwed into this bushing. The bushing's three inches. This measurement from here to here after it's been machined is about an inch and a quarter, plus a half inch of axle tube um, are giving you quite a bit more than what it had from factory. So uh, this process really strengthens the end of the axle uh, quite a bit. All right, the job's complete. Uh, this customer had the inner and outer bearing and nut, so I went ahead and test fit it before I left. Uh, this job's about 120 miles from the shop, and you know I don't want any issues um, down the road, so I just made sure that everything fits right, and uh, that's another one done. Thank you for watching.